oh my gosh, everybody. I'm actually making progress on my writing, my long form writing. It's only been taking me four years or some change to get this shit out of my system, literally. Because all these old memories are triggering my nervous system and then I'm getting up and having to go take a shit, you know? Because I'm talking about my old life in New York, you know, the drugs that I used to do, the sex that I used to have, the cheating on my partner that I used to do, you know, um, all the organizing work I did when I was in grad school, not me by myself, but being called out for being a white man, you know, um, being called out for my privilege, being called out for my sense of entitlement, being called out for what my ancestors did. Although, mind you, I found out later on, thanks for the push, that my ancestors are not English. Um, and the English are really the ones who caused all the problems in the world of the movie saying, not the Irish, okay, which is what I identify as, first and foremost. Um, I don't identify as German for obvious reasons, even though I do have a strong German connection. But, you know, I digress. I'm trying to stay focused. And like I said at the opening of this video, I'm making progress. You know, I don't like talking about doing trigger warning, crystal meth. You know, I don't like the anticipation of being judged for talking about it. But it's a really important story to tell, not least because tons of people continue to have their lives severely disrupted by substance abuse. Did you hear my voice? Or substance abuse. Um, and people are judged for that, right? As if it's a failure of hours that we've become dependent on these drugs, which are so freely given out. You know, I mean, take crystal meth. Crystal meth was developed originally for soldiers in wartime. And I was reading last night about all the wars that are going on in the world today. And the writer whose work I was reading likened war to a drug. And I thought, aha, right? War is a drug. I said, that explains, I said to myself, that explains everything. You know, and that's ultimately what I'm trying to figure out in my book project and in the sample chapter that I'm developing is why was I so drawn to this war of drug? I mean, to this drug of war. See what I did there? This war of a drug. This drug of a war. You know, and it's because I was intensely looking for some kind of fulfillment. And I never got the fulfillment until I met my true love, Arthur, who had had his own brush with crystal meth many years before me. He was in his late teens during his experience. I was in my late 30s, early 40s, you know? And what I realized is that as somebody who was born in 1978, I was still working through a lot of the trauma from the 1980s. 
you know, the war on drugs, the war on crime, which devastated communities in this country and around the world because of the United States' influence, which is not nearly as important as it used to be, thank God. But in 1978, that was a turning point. Anyway, I don't want to digress any further. Um, I didn't realize how much pain I was actually in until the pandemic happened and I completely changed my life only to realize all these years later that I'm still the exact same person. Which is the exact same as anybody else who's alive, right? We do all just want to be seen and recognized. I'm looking at it, my imaginary audience. And that's the other thing. I'm going to bring this to a close. That's the other thing. I didn't want to write anymore because writing became so traumatic for me. Writing engendered these feelings of anguish in me. But what I also have realized over the last several years is that I just have to keep letting that shit out literally and that's why I'm writing this book Kimika Divina a testimony of sexual and spiritual healing you know and it's just amazing this is why I love writing because it's such a wonderful process of discovery I'm just looking down at my notes here you know what I just discovered in my writing today is that of course Arthur and I had to take a break because when I met him in person it was just a couple weeks after a major crystal meth thunder in Miami and Fort Lauderdale. It was March 2019. Five plus years later, I feel like I'm only back to where I started now. Because I was teased and harassed and abused growing up for being gay or being effeminate. Terms that I didn't even know the meaning of when they were used against me, right? Again, this is the 1980s. So, you know, it's complicated for me because a lot of my life seems to exhibit exactly the traumas that this country and this world has experienced, you know? And I think that's why I'm an actor now and why I prefer to act because I'd so much rather escape into a world of joy and creativity rather than escape into a world of, you know, parallel trauma. Because a thing that I'm always mindful of is that I was poisoning myself. by taking crystal meth and I was rationalizing it. I said in therapy, my therapist was like, my partner at the time apparently didn't know. I mean, this is also why I'm an actor now, but you know, it's taken me a long time to be able to say these things. But this is where my journey's going. And, um, I gotta keep sharing it. Anyway, in other news, 
Um, I'm just going to cut, do a little bit of extra work here. Hey, everybody, how's it going? Um, oh my gosh. Hey, everybody, how's it going? I am thrilled to be getting some work done. Excuse me. I am thrilled to be getting some work done on my book manuscript. Unsold, but slowly but surely we're going to get there. And it reminded me that I'm actually a really great writer and a really great editor. So if any of y'all out there want some assistance working on your projects, let me know. I'm happy to barter. I'm also happy to work at an extremely low price, like say $33 an hour. Um, with no commitment. It's a steal, my friends. Um, anyway, ciao for now.